Hey everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is just a little bonus episode in the Eyelid uh, series. I just want to show you one more option. So here I actually have a geometry eyelid, and it's just a half circle. So it's just a half circle I made that'll go around that eye, and it's just a different technique you can use for an eyelid if you don't want to do a mesh-based approach. And it can make your show a lot simpler and a lot nicer. It's a decision you can make at the design stage of how you want the eyelid to work, but this option could save you a ton of time in rigging and not really change the look of the show that much. If you go with this method, it might actually be a little bit easier in the animation stage to quickly get shapes and quickly get eye shapes on the piece and do a really nice blink. I've seen a couple shows use this style and for the most part, it's looked okay. It's really easy to set up. I have a rig here and I just have four eyelid bones and I'm actually gonna do this with a constraint. So if I click on the eyelid, I'm going to go to my constraint panel and I'm going to add a copy rotation. And I'm going to target the armature. And this is eyelid top dot left dot zero zero one, which is this bone right here. And you'll notice that nothing changed. And I'm going to leave it in world space actually, because I want this to always copy the rotation. Now, when I rotate this bone, I can rotate that eyelid. What's great about a copy rotation as well is I can also skew the eyelid in any direction. So I can get some really interesting shapes with this eyelid. So it's really easy to add to the other bones as well. Just a copy rotation, looking at the armature, eyelid bottom dot left. This one's gonna look at eyelid top dot right. And this one's gonna look at eyelid bottom dot right. So now I can grab both these bones and just rotate them together. Make some really interesting shapes with these. Um, it's a really fun rig for an animator to play around with and get a lot of expression. You can now combine this with other techniques to add shape keys onto here if you want. Um, you could have also done this with drivers. The reason I just like a copy rotation is because I get all three axes for free right off the bat. So there's just one more method if you want to look at a different way to rig eyelids. Um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. What I'd like to do after this is now do a full face rigging tutorial where I integrate an eyelid into an entire cheek and eyebrow structure. Uh, that'll probably be coming up next. Big thank you to my patrons as well for supporting me through this process. And thanks to everybody that watched this and tried out the tutorial. Talk next time. Bye-bye.